Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're diving back into some more Better Minecraft Plus. I am back and uh, in the nether. It's a little bit weird, but uh, I want to upgrade my armor today before we go adventuring. And there's actually some stuff that I want to check out, including the, the wire roost. I believe I'm saying that this right here, this mod, uh, because there's some really useful things that we could potentially get, including something that could help us glide, like as in an actual glider. Like that sounds pretty awesome to me. Um, but I do need to, uh, farm a little bit more of this right here. The, uh, the geodes, the red geodes. I only have three of them. And I did notice there was quite a few off in this direction. So I'm going to, I'm going to head over here. Actually, you know what? I'd probably, probably gonna be better off finding it over here more often this way. And hopefully we can discover a few things along the way. That's kind of the goal. Also, as I'm prepping things up, pulling some bottles of fire resistance out of our inventory. Yeah, this this actually is cross-dimensional. I was completely wrong. I think there was uh, some sort of lag issue that was happening while I couldn't use it. And uh, that was sort of preventing that. But yeah, it does work cross-dimensionally. And it also works, uh, you know, infinite range, of course, at your actual base. Because, like, I can access it from here now. I also went ahead and chunk-loaded the, uh, the base just to make sure... And you can chunk load just by using your FTB chunks. As you can see, I have my Bortle chunk loaded as well. So yeah, I'm going to do some farming. See if we can't find some of this stuff down here. Because I'm sure it's uh, it's it's fairly present in these areas. I'm just going to be looking for that geode. I thought I had seen some of it. By the way, I'm taking so much damage from this quartz. This biome is not your friend. Yeah, there we go. We need uh, about 24 of those bad boys so we can make... Uh, well, actually, probably less than that, because we're not going to be making the full set. Just main, the main part to cover us up. Yeah, I think we're going to easily find it, probably in this biome, since all the, the main ores are kind of exposed. Speaking of exposed... What? Is that some Wither Skeleton Skulls just up in here for free? Uh, yes, I will take that. <laughs> Look at the spooky skeleton... Dude, that's perfect. Oh my, and it's right here with, uh, I think a Piglin Brute area. Yeah, I don't think that I'm 100% ready for this. Um, I need to grab my shuriken just to be on the safe side. I don't see any mobs, but I could be wrong. They're probably lingering about. There should be some pretty good loot in here. I was hoping I could find another Wither Skeleton Skull from that. That's like right here. I hear them. If I kill them before opening the chest, it won't make them mad, right? But I mean, if I kill them, it's going to make them mad. I mean, honestly, me not wearing any gold is probably going to make them mad. Should I put some gold on? Probably put like a golden helmet on, right? I hear them, like, they're, they're pretty, like, angry sounding. Oh, that guy. Okay, okay, we're down. We're out. Oh, no. Oh. Well, that's one death. Um, that's, that's one death for the day. That is a hundred percent why I need some better armor. Oh my gosh. They took me out super fast, but then again, like, the axe that that guy was holding is pretty powerful. So, I mean, that's completely understandable. Where's it at? It was, like, back here, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm, like, running in here with, like, little to no gear. I do have gold, so maybe I will be a little bit more uh, protected. I just need to get up there. There should be a button I can press to literally just take everything. This is not where I wanted to go today. All right, let's get up here real quick. Transfer items. Boom. 
So we should be good. This needs to go in our bubble slot. I think that's everything. Goes in our back slot. All right. So yeah, that's, we should be good. Why didn't I use my shuriken? Like out of all things, could have used my shuriken. Okay. I'm not quite sure if they're going. Oh yeah, they're gonna attack me immediately. 100%. Oh, we're going to die again. I don't want to die again. This is not a fun place. <laughs> oh, God, I'm dying already. Um, Let's hope that I, I took out enough of them. Otherwise, I might have to come in here with, like, golden apples and stuff and figure that out. I am on... Where did I die? Right here. Okay, let's just... What do we got in here? Let's just take everything. Protection. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> we took all the stuff from the bottom. I think we're good for right now. I'm going to get out of this area. At least we got Wither Skeleton Skulls. That was a, uh, a pleasant surprise. Yeah, this biome is definitely the place to go. Like, look at this. I'm able to easily at least spot this stuff. This material. Easily spot it. Because for some reason it just like... Yeah, it just like shows up as normal ore. And I believe there's, yeah, there's some over here. Seemingly pretty rare as far as like ore goes in this dimension. So maybe that's why it's, uh, it seems like a pretty decent gear choice. Like over diamond, I think it's a better choice than, than diamond. Take a look at what I found. Look at this bad boy. So this right here is from Tinker's Construct. Actually a pretty useful little structure to find. Um, because I believe you can actually make fire resistant potions directly from the slime that's over here by drying it. Ooh, we just, uh, got a module hardened on this bad boy. So yeah, I, uh, and then also, uh, you can make some other stuff out of the slimy materials. Like definitely some good stuff to find here on this nice little slime island. Blood island sounds just absolutely gross also nothing like a puddle of magma slime it's literally magma cream uh liquid magma, magma cream so that only means one thing someone is melting the magma slimes that tinkers is are you doing this you know what's strange is i'm walking around in this fluid not taking any damage whatsoever so maybe magma slime is actually cold and all along, we just didn't know it. We just thought it was hot. But they're actually really cold creatures. I think I got myself enough of the red geode, at least to make a set covering myself. Um, so we should be able to head back, get herself prepped up, and do some adventuring in the overworld. That's what it's all about, even though I feel like there's more dangers in the overworld than there are in the nether. Oh, just judging by our day, day two, uh, day two was, uh, was uh, an experience to say the least. So I'm really hoping this armor pays off <laughs> for all the work in the nether. So putting this on, we're a bit more red looking. I, I think we're, uh, we're a bit nicer looking, but we do have a, a lot more armor on, on us at this point. Um, so just judging by our set at the moment compared to this. So easy seven and one toughness this is eight and 2.5 i mean the toughness definitely goes up so bigger hits are going to take less damage which is pretty nice pants we did lose so i guess you, there's sort of a trade-off here for more damage uh, like larger damage reduction so but overall like smaller hits aren't really going to change too much i don't know i'm kind of iffy on this armor there are of course way better armor that's in this pack and all you have to do is really just slightly grind for it. It's not like it's too hard to come by. I just want to kind of test things out. It's kind of what I'm kind of experimenting with is the testing of things. Um, but speaking of testing of things, I explored a little bit underwater here, just seeing what was actually under our base. And I'm kind of surprised with Tetra because right here is another Tetra build that has some stuff in it. Um, that we can actually uh, loot. So this one has a crate over here and we can loot this crate and I don't know what's in the crate. We could get anything um, similar to the crate that we opened up before. But I ventured further over here and this is where 
the real magic's at. This is the forge with a forge workbench already underneath it. This right here is, is actually a forge. Like it can go up to level five and higher. It already has these uh, thermal containers in it. We just have to get the, uh, the side levels right. We just gotta make sure to get it activated. But like these, it already has the two thermal containers in it. And then as soon as the thermal containers, like if they run out, we have this building over here, which has that long, long thing that goes underneath. This allows you to recharge those containers. So pretty cool that we have all of this at our kind of at our fingertips. Yeah, we just place it in here and it, it recharges all the way down there from bedrock. There's a special kind of bedrock down at the bottom of that. But I think that's pretty wicked. I've not really dived that deep into it, mainly because the structures are pretty difficult to find, but because these are right here. Like, we should be able to technically dive into that, like, no problem. And hopefully get some really advanced stuff happening. I'm about to head out on an adventure. I think I'm going to need a little bit larger of a boat. I say that to hopefully protect me from things. I don't know. The, the the water is pretty pretty treacherous and dangerous. I, I don't even know if this is going to protect me, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I'm going to need a bunch of leads. So at the moment, I am just taking all of this bone that I got from the nether and just farming it over here on our hemp. And this is granting me plenty of wool for right now. So I have enough wool, I think, to make everything, but I'm going to need a bit more string if I'm going to adventure any further than this um okay so yeah basically building this this is a is going to be a pretty large ship um it is actually sail driven and is pretty cool to actually see like in in motion like it actually working it is a pretty cool thing so it requires a lot of leads for some reason also lots of wool you can see it's going to need another lead so you're going to need quite a bit of wood and leads and also wool and you're gonna need some boats, and I believe that's just regular chests. And there we go. So we have ourselves a spruce brig. Probably, I think this is one of the biggest ships you can actually craft. The brig is. Um, it's not the fastest one, but it is the biggest, I think. And it's pretty cool looking. So let's go ahead and test it out on some water. All we gotta do is walk out on the water, place our boat. Hopefully I can find somewhere to place it. Somewhere, anywhere. I don't know how much room it actually needs to be able to place. Surely I don't have to be this far. Okay, so yeah, I had to be quite a ways away. What is that? I had to be quite a ways away to get this thing to work. But I'm, I'm on it. Now I have to set up some controls. So this works similar to a boat, like we can use it to go forward, but to get the most out of it, you got to lower your cells and then and the default on this is J and K to lower your cells and of course K to raise your cells, but it also enables rotation lock, which is a part of cork. So best thing to do is probably to have this maxed out. Oh gosh. And there's this thing right here and then hit R. Is that going to save us from this thing? That's what I'm worried about. Oh, is, can this thing actually attack us while we're in this? That's what I was worried about killing us. It's it doesn't seem like it's I mean, we're getting away from it somewhat. That's horrifying. It's actually after us. Oh, and by the way, I'm not holding forward or anything. If I hold forward, it goes a little bit faster. This is from ice and fire. The thing that's after us. I don't know if it can actually get us or not. Like, what if I stop? It's actually on the boat. Okay. <laughs> I think we're a little bit more protected. Like, I feel a bit safer. Like, knowing that it can't immediately wreck us like it can if I'm in a boat. Also, I probably should put in some earplugs to protect me from other bad things that I believe can pull me out of the boat. Oh, oh my, it's in the boat. <laughs> it's in the boat. What am I even looking at right now? 
What is going on? No, this can't be happening. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I mean, honestly, I'm not horribly far away from the base. If I die, I can always come back. Like, will it? Can it attack me if I ride? Can I ride with it? You know, just me and the. <laughs> me. <laughs> what is this thing called? It's just called a part. I don't even know. I forget what it's called. Like a sea serpent? Just me and my sea serpent, you know, chilling. We're going on an adventure. Just me and my sea serpent. <laughs> what is even going on right now? Oh, this is too good. Oh, we got to come up with a name for this guy. I wonder if you can actually kill this while it's in here. Because it does give you some pretty decent gear. Okay, we have another problem. Uh, this thing's after us now. Um, and it can actually shoot lightning. And it, it has struck in thy ever so slightly. But I wonder if this is a two passenger. <laughs> I wonder if this thing can actually get stuck as well if I take it back to the base. Oh, no, it can actually. Is it breaking the boat? Oh, that was so weird. Look, oh, it can strike lightning. This thing, I think, is way more dangerous. Maybe we're get, are we getting close to home? I think we're getting close. I'm going to park this thing. Hop out like it did before and see if it gets stuck. Did it give up? Now that thing's actually really... So the water is incredibly dangerous. Like, as you can see... I still can't get over this. I can't get over this. Now, this guy is tameable. It takes a lot, though, to tame it. This is from the Wire Roost mod that I was talking about before. Oh my gosh. What a crazy monster. Look at that. Look at that menacing. I don't even know if I... I mean, I have its attention. Like, oh, man. How do we even travel via water with all the scary mobs that are there? There. Why have I waited till night to do anything? Look at... What is this? Even. What even? Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Is it afraid of water like an Enderman? Oh, it's teleporting me. Oh, that's horrible. No, 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 no. Take damage. Do something. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to kill me. Why? Why? What am, how, how am I taking damage from this thing? Get away. Oh, I can't. No. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I feel like that thing was a nope. That was just a nope mob. I have no idea. I, why did I attack it? It seemed pretty passive until I attacked it. it at least the armor protected me for a little bit, like a, a little bit. It didn't do a horribly good job, but protect me for a tiny little bit. Now, can I actually attack? This thing while he's in there? Oh, I can. Oh, that's awesome. This might provide like an interesting way of getting this armor. Look at this. And it dropped that. Stay away from the Leviathan that's in there. That's probably going to come after me. Ooh, okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, this stuff right here. So this can be used to make a tri trident. Um, Very strong trident weapon pierces through multiple enemies. But there's also like this stuff and we get the shiny skills from the sirens and we combine this. We could potentially get this provides water breathing, provides strength when wet, increase levels with full set. Oh, and like we would just need multiple sea serpents in order to get this. Like, I don't think the uh, the sirens would be too horribly hard to come by. Hmm. I wonder what it would take to lure this guy over. Like, and maybe I could use these against it. Okay, it struck me with lightning. But can I, can I use these to my advantage? Oh, oh, it did a little bit of damage there. But, oh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be too powerful. Oh, 
Oh man, but the knockback, we got so close. We were so close on that one. I have, have a feeling we, sh we could potentially take this guy out. Potentially. Look at this. I don't think he can get on the land other than the lightning strikes. Oh, he can get on land. But I think it's useless. I know I can tame it. There's plenty of them to tame. But if I can just get enough. Oh, wow. That was a powerful lightning strike, wasn't it? So long as it's not in the water, I think we'd be fine. We need some kind of regeneration. Wait, did we kill it? Oh, we killed it. It's dead. No way. What did it drop? Did it drop anything worthwhile? Apex meat? Like, okay. Huh. Wow, not, not worth it. <laughs> 100% not worth it. But that's one less predator in the sea that I have to worry about. Oh my gosh. So my main goal was to go after these things called gliders, which are supposed to spawn on like beach biomes. So I, I might find them on these beach biomes. There's a couple of them, I think, right over here. But like if we have to worry about other predators, that's going to make this almost impossible. So this looks like some beach-esque Biomes, I don't see any of them spawned here. I'm gonna keep looking. And do some searching. Hopefully we can see some of them. They're supposed to be very, very timid though. And we'll run away from you. Very similar to ocelots. Oh, here comes another one of those. Oh no, this actually broke our boat. What? This thing actually broke our boat. Oh, we killed it. We killed it, but I didn't, did I get my boat? Oh, I got my boat back. It straight up shot and killed our boat. I mean, at least we are here. Um, There's actually some stuff that I want to get that's in this. Potentially a treasure map. Let's see. Oh man, it's so much good loot in here. There should, however, be a treasure map locked down in here somewhere. Potentially right through here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. I'm not really seeing. There's a tattered tome. Not seeing a treasure map though. But keep looking. So I just seen. It looks. Yeah, I believe that's like a seahorse. Yeah, right there. Look at that! Like an actual, like, sea horse. I believe that's from Ice and Fire as well. I forget what the name of it is, but I think you can tame them? Just don't remember exactly how. We've got trouble. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> I heard a noise. And I believe it's the acid spitter. Where's it at? I heard it. And I seen just very... Yeah. It's over here. I'm just not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave for right now. We should head back anyways. So I didn't have any luck on the beach, but I am back at the starting village uh, because believe it or not, there's something lurking over here. Yes, notice I'm nice and pink. Yep, that's because we are uh, being affected by a siren. So hopefully I can actually take on this siren. That is nearby. It seems like it is over in this direction somewhere because, of course, that's where it's pulling me to. I should be able to use this against it. Yes, there's the siren. It's the evil, evil lady who has no right infecting me with love <laughs> only to devour me because that's literally what this thing does. Gonna come here. Come here, come here. Wow, you got a lot of health. But yeah, that right there, just killing those things. It's not too hard to find them either, as you can see, as I just get sucked into 
just a, a love fest, apparently. Pretty ridiculous. What did I get there? I got two more of those. And also got some Prismarine Crystals. Well, guys, today has been... Uh, 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 I don't know. Exciting is an understatement, I, I, I feel. Because, um, wow, we did a lot of crazy stuff. But I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to go to Hygerian, I believe. Thank you so much for your amazing support and uh, being a patron. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested, by the way, in supporting the channel and becoming a patron yourself, of course, you can find that linked down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Of course, guys, I will see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.